Now, what are the kinds of movements? I'm going to, you know, I came up with this idea that you must have seen videos of Tardive Dyskinesia perhaps a couple of times in your life. But then three months later, you don't remember exactly what you saw. So I'm thinking that how about, how about you and I, we do the movements ourselves because, you know, it was Benjamin Franklin or somebody who said, like, if you do something, you'll remember it for the rest of your life. So if we do the movement, it'll embed in our mind, you know, what the movements consist of. So just remember the movements are slow and they are irregular and they are polymorphic. Polymorphic means they keep changing their shape and irregular means that they don't occur in a rhythmic way. The interval between each movement uh, keeps changing and they occur slowly. That's very valuable in identifying TD versus other movements. So if you look at the lips, let's start analyzing them one by one. So in the lips, they can be pouting. So what is pouting? Pouting is the lower lip, lower lip goes forward and you can feel a contraction or you can sometimes see the contraction of the mentalis muscle, which is in the front of the chin. Like this, right? So that's pouting uh, right here. Then we have puckering, which is like, you know, like kissing. So that's different. The, the entire mouth moves forward. So let's do it together. See how this, I'm do, trying to do it. I hope I'm doing it right. I'm doing it slowly and the interval is irregular. And usually the movements will be mixed together. So I'm doing only puckering three times. I did it, but it could be puckering and then the pouting and then the tongue all mixed together. Then we have smacking. Yeah. So that it's like, you know, lip smacking, like we say for tasty food. The movements of the tongue can occur, right? What kind of movements? So fly catches tongue. That's like a frog, you know, which sends out its tongue and catches the fly. Let's do it together. Come on, come on, do it, do it. All right, I don't know. I hope, I, hope, I hope I'm doing it correctly. Twisting of the tongue, that's kind of hard to show, but, and I, well, let's, let's combine them. And then there's the bonbon sign, which is like holding a type, bonbon is a type of candy. So you're holding the candy in the side of your mouth, uh, like this lady here, right? So if we combine them, so you tell the patient, can you please open your mouth, keep your tongue in. You tell the patient, keep your tongue in, but the patient is not able to and it tends to protrude. Yeah, so it's a combination. It is protruding, it's going to the side, it's twisting. Um, despite the patient was told to keep the tongue in. Perioral or facial, like for example, pulling back the corners of your mouth, you know? When I tell my children a dad joke, you know, that's, that's how they smile, they do this. That's what it is. So pulling back the corners of the mouth, uh, squeezing of the eyes. Like that. The jaw. Let's do it together. Lateral movements.
and chewing. Now you have to make sure that the person doesn't have chewing gum in their mouth. I cannot tell you how many times it sounds like it's theoretical, but I've seen this many times where I thought, hey, wait a minute, I see TD. And then it turns out the person says, oh, sorry, I have chewing gum in my mouth. So it's a good idea to try to ask about that when you start off.